Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for the sales order report and in the previous video, yes, we created the sub routine with the name perform underscore field cat. We have three using, we have one changing. These all are called as your actual parameters. So we have one, two, three, four. These are your actual parameters of the subroutine. And this is called as formal parameters of the subroutine. Now I will simply, simply cut this logic and I will paste into the subroutine. This is, I will cut this logic. I will double click. Now I will paste the logic in the subroutine. We all know, yes, we are always writing the logic between form and end form. You can understand in a way, we have a modular, we have a separate module now. And in this module, we have the logic. Now the important understanding will be here. Just see. What are the actual parameter value? One, VBELN, your label, your label. This one will go to which particular thing, which particular variable, PV underscore column position. This VBELN will go to what? PV underscore field name. This text hyphen 001 will go to what pv underscore text it means here now i cannot go for one vb eln text hyphen zero zero one i need to pass this now so i will write pv underscore column position pv underscore field name see from the actual parameters yes we are going to formal parameters now now this is your pv underscore field name and this is your pv underscore text. Now we are passing these three values to which particular work area? LWA field cat. We are appending LWA field cat to LT field cat. Now just see what is the name of our internal table here now, PT, PT. So in this area, yes, what is the name of formal parameter you gave, PT. So ultimately your data is going to which internal table, PT underscore field cat. Now the control will go to back button, PT underscore field cat will give the data to what lt underscore field cat. This is how it will work. These values are getting copied, are getting copied. One will go to this. This vbeln will go to this. This text hyphen 001, whatever is there, it will go to this. We are passing these three values to what work area. We are appending to this particular formal parameter. This is your formal parameter. So this formal parameter, yes, once the control will go back, this is our actual parameter. And ultimately, this LT field cat we are using here. We are using here. It is important to understand, yes, actual parameters and formal parameters. Now. I will do this thing six times, six times. Just see, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Now, what is second? Two, three, four, five, six. Now, what is the column? Post not. What is the third column? Matenar, Postnar, then we have Matenar, then we have 
M A K T X. And then we have, yes, K W M E N G. And then we have V R K M E. And this is text hyphen zero zero two three four five six. Have you seen? Now this logic, I will simply, simply comment or simply, simply remove. Simply remove. Just see how it will work. Yes, values are changing. But just see how effective our logic is now. Previously, we have so much continuous logic. Now we have only six lines. Just see how it will work. Firstly, this particular statement will execute. One VBELN sales document number. We are appending to which, if, which internal table? PT field cat. This is your formal parameter. And this is our actual parameter. So LT field cat, how many record? One record. Now control will come to second subroutine. Two postnar item number. Two postnar item number. It will go to work area. We are passing to PT field cat. PT field cat is going for LT field cat. Two record, three record, four record, five record, six record. So we have six records in the internal table. So whenever you see this kind of requirement, yes. You have different, different using values that will not make difference. Yes. So as of now, you can see we have different, different using values, but we have same, same number of parameters, same number of parameters, same number of we have actual parameters. Then we can simply use the modularization technique and in the projects, highly, highly effectively used specially. Whenever you are creating field catalog, everyone will ask you to go for this subroutine modularization technique because whenever we are going for this field catalog, we are going for same number of parameters. So why we should go for continuous lines of this logic? We can create subroutine in that case. Now, I will show you in the debugging mode so that the picture will be clear in your mind how how the values are passing and how the data is going to this internal table i will put a breakpoint i am executing i will put the date 23rd august i will go to desktop just see now what is the Three values. One, VBELN sales document number. And this is our changing LT field cat. How many record? Zero record. Just see, this is modularization technique. We have the logic into this modularization technique. If I want to go inside this modularization technique, I need to do what? F5. If you remember, if you want to go inside the class method logic, or if you want to go inside the function module logic, which key you are pressing? F5. Same thing is here. What is F5? Step by step execution. Suppose I will do F5. Have you seen one passed to this? VBELN passed to this PV text passed this our text passed to what PV underscore text. We are passing these values to work area. Just see now we have the work area. Now in PT field cat, we have the first record, first record. So this is our formal parameter. Whenever I will go for F6, now whenever I will do F6, 
now this particular subroutine this particular first statement done now that formal parameter now return to what this is our actual parameter what is in the actual parameter one thing yes now if i will go to now second i will go for say execution of second i will do f5 now you can see two postnar item number now if i will show you pt underscore field cat now in pt underscore field cat we have how many record? Two records. Now, LT field cat. If I will show you LT field cat, LT field cat has now how much? Two. Now, I will go for third. You can see LT field cat three. You can see LT field cat four. You can see LT field cat five. You can see LT field cat six. So, just see how different different values we are passing but we have written a common logic common logic inside form and end form now you can see we have same to same six things are there six records are there and we have the same to same output is there as of now i'm not covering the concept of call by value and call by reference that will be covered in detail as a part of a PAP programming playlist. But whatever the knowledge is required at this point of time, based upon our current requirement in terms of subroutine, this much knowledge is enough. So what is the summary of last three videos if I will come on to subroutine? Every subroutine is also a modularization technique. Yes, subroutine, we do not have a separate transaction code. We need to go for a back editor itself. Whenever you are going for subroutine, perform, perform name, tables using changing. Means table parameter, using parameter, changing parameter. If some parameters are not applicable, you can skip that part. But you cannot change the sequence. Means I cannot say using tables changing. It is always, always tables using changing. Whatever you are specifying through perform, they are called as the actual parameters of the subroutine. Whatever is with form, they are called as the formal parameters of the subroutine. And we are always, always writing the logic between form and end form. And we took the real time requirement that whenever you have this kind of requirement in which you have different, different values, but you have same number of parameters. In that case, what you can do, you can create a subroutine and that will be effectively utilization of our logic. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.